なんで学級委員になったの古谷くんのことが好きだからよ高野、傘ねえのえ貸してやるよ、俺、走るから梶さんには、自分を大切にしてほしいおこげ Welcome to the 27th episode of Takisoba with a review for Surazari Children. I'm Anime Pro Malesh, your Anime Casual Nate. If you want a really short slice of life comedy about high school couples, this is the anime for you. Surazari's short skip based episodes made for a rom com that I love. What did you think, Nate? Well, I liked it a lot in the beginning, due to it being an anime with 11 minute episodes, because these skits are really short. However, it does get a little bit put up towards the end, but they did a good job making a skit based show revolve around just one specific concept. s o r o z o r i Children aired during the summer season of 2017 with 12 short episodes. The episodes are only 13 minutes long, really 11 minutes minus the opening and ending theme. This is a perfect length for a skit based comedy. s o r o z o r i s stories about high schoolers confessing their love to each other, and each episode having multiple skits based on the multiple couples. It's a simple premise, but each episode had hilarious moments that made it work. It impressed me how different each relationship felt. My favorite one was the student council president and the delinquent girl. I also love the short length because much of this comedy was made by these high schoolers actually getting to the point with their confessions and moving on to funny and awkward scenarios. It's unlike some slice of life anime where two shy high school students may never talk about their feelings. However, As I said previously, it did get a bit boring around the very end of the show because they were really wringing that trope dry. But I did laugh in every episode. Now let's talk about those characters. Each character doesn't really get much development as they're either confessing or not confessing real quick, and the comedy builds off of that. The couples just exist to personify archetypes. We have the cool Goda, who is paired with a shy but feisty Kamine. We got the student council president getting wild with the bad girl Kaji. My favorite character is definitely Love Master. Always wears his heart in the sleeve, but never gives it away. Since I'm a nerd of the shaved head, I can relate most to Motoyama, a nice bro who never gets a girl at all, but he helps his nerd brethren Yamine. I also love the comedy troupe couple of Chiaki and Kana, and one of the last major couples is the cute and wholesome Sugawara and Chizuru. There's really nothing we can discuss about these characters. Each of their skits is a slightly different style, so you get some good variety. Now I'll talk about the animation and art style. Studio Gokumi did a nice job animating s u r a z o r i Children. The studio is most known for Kirino Mosaic. You can tell the influence Mosaic had on s u r a z o r i as they both have simplistic art styles. s u r a z o r i is good in this department overall. I'd agree. There's a nice combination of simple character designs with amusing expressions and a lot of great visual comedy. Now we'll briefly discuss the soundtrack and voice acting. I basically did not pay attention to any of the background music of this anime, and I felt neutral on the opening and ending themes. But the voice acting itself, it was expressive and funny. I've definitely heard funnier Japanese comedy acting, but s u r a z u r i was quite alright. This show did get a dub, but just before I wrote this review, so I don't have any critique on it. The soundtrack was okay. Nothing in particular caught my attention, but the shorter opening and ending were nice. The voice acting was excellent though. The actors nailed their timing on the skits and wonderfully expressed their characters. My favorite voice actress, Kana Hanazawa, kills it in the show. Oh, and I can't forget to mention, the voice for Love Master was baller. He was my hero. All said, it's always great having a fun comedy anime in every season, and s o r a z e r i Children is the best one to come out this year. If you love Daylights of High School Boys, then you have to watch s o r a z e r i Children. If I had to describe this anime in two words, I'd say. Palate cleanser. At times it did remind me of Daily Lives as well, but that show had more diverse comedy. This show would be great to binge as a pick me up after finishing a more melancholic anime. For anime newbies though, I'd say this is not worth your time, unless you also want something just quick and simple. You can watch s u r a z u r i Children for free on Crunchyroll and Funimation. As always, if you've already watched s u r a z u r i Children, click the first link in the description for our post review discussion, which includes the lightest possible spoilers. Thanks for watching our review of s u r a z u r i Children. Please give it a like or a comment for feedback. And we'll see you guys next time with a review of the bizarre dub only version of Ghost Stories. Ciao.